I'm going to tell you a story, and it's about lessons learned from the United States. And it's a kind of a crazy story in the beginning, but frankly, we're going to end with a sense of hope and a sense of excitement. And I think that, you know, this is a story about what I've been seeing in the States for the last 25 years and the monumental cultural shift that is just starting to begin. And I think it's something that we can uh, see all over the world, quite frankly, if we're really conscious about how to organize our thinking and how to organize our work. I really do believe we have an amazing opportunity right now. We have an amazing opportunity this weekend. We have an amazing opportunity over the next year, over the next decade, over the next two decades, to have a profound impact on how we take care of our kids who learn differently. They're not all struggling at a neurobiological level. They're not all purely dyslexic. There's something else going on with regard to how we are teaching reading where we have two thirds of our kids by fourth grade falling behind. And you all probably know the statistics. Once they're at that level and they don't get support, they're gonna to continue to suffer and fall behind even further as they go through their academic career. What they found is three out of four elementary school teachers get no training with regard to how a child learns how to read. How could that be? So this is, again, this, we have to be super clear. This is not about bashing teachers. This is about supporting teachers to make sure that they are getting the support, the resources, and the training they need so when they get out into the field, they know what they're seeing in their own classroom. That's a crazy story, and it really obviously begs the question, how did this happen? And I'm gonna to try to answer that question the best I can, but the underlying goal here is for all of you to be thoughtful about how you can avoid that mistake as you planned to take care of your different learning kids here in India. There is absolutely no reason why we can't work together and make that information available to our up and coming professionals so that when they walk into the classroom, they know what they see and they are prepared. They know what they can do to make a gigantic impact on these kids' lives. Let's make sure that we're aware of the importance of early intervention, the importance of preventative instruction, and let's make sure we understand also that there is a need for intervention with older students as well. I mean, this is a perfect opportunity for us, and I just, I just want to do everything I possibly can to play a role in making sure that we keep this momentum going. It will have, as the doctor said earlier, it will have a profound impact on millions and millions and millions of kids all across the world. If you can't read, what does that say about your future? Thank you.